Hello everyone, I'm Jim and this is Gardening Through the Seasons Inside and Outdoors. I live in the Northern Hemisphere and so I want to put tomatoes out in May. It is beginning of March so it is time to get going with these tomato plants. I would recommend, I'm just going to show you some tricks here. I would recommend either a peat pot like this that you just soak in some houseplant strength fertilizer water until it swells up and then you put the seed in. Plant a few in each pot because the weaker ones you can always remove and save the best. Another option are like these modular seed trays, which I really love this for having a high density to start with of plants because I like to start a lot, but I don't have a lot of space in my house to start them. The thing with this is, here's a couple tricks with this. If you reuse these, definitely sterilize them in hot bleach water and things. And when you pack them with, I recommend a peat moss soil that you've squeezed the extra moisture out, leave some space here because if you, you know, press it down and everything, fill it up, but leave some space here so that when you water it later, there's a spot for the water to sit in there and slowly soak in. If you make the mistake that I have in years past and fill it all the way up, when you try to water this, the water is going to run off and it's going to be a pain and it's going to be hard to get the plants wet. So I have early girl today that I got from Park C. Just quickly going to show you tomato plants. I recommend, here's the seeds. I recommend um, burying them just a touch. So you can just throw in a few seeds. I'm not going to do all of them in front of you because that'd be too boring, but um, a few seeds in the top of the soil and then just take a pencil or something and just, you don't have to put them very deep. They don't need to be very deep. That's it, folks. And if you really rang out the uh, soil, you might want to add just a tiny bit more of moisture just to make sure that they have enough to, to keep germinating. Put this in a container with a clear lid in a really bright spot, but not direct sun or you'll cook them alive. Of course, uh, as they begin to grow, take them out of the cover right away. Otherwise, you'll have really weak plants. And you're gonna wanna grow them once they come out of the cover in the brightest light possible. So I'm gonna, since it's March and I'm so far from the equator, I'm gonna have them next to uh, shop lights, LED shop lights. Like my videos, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.